Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ramashankar. I am MD Community Medicine. Today we shall be discussing a nested case control study or we can also say case control study in a defined cohort. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry, whenever nested case control study is talked about, it is said that it is a type of case control study in which cases and controls are basically drawn from a cohort. But actually it is much more than this. So let's try to understand this nested case control study or case control study in a defined cohort in much in detail. So in recent years what it has been seen that attention is given on whether it is possible or feasible uh, to take the advantage of you know combining the elements of cohort study and case control study into a single study. So if it is feasible to combine the elements of case control and cohort study and make a single study then definitely it will be called as hybrid design. So let's try to understand in detail. Now what happened in this type of study uh, means case control study initiated within cohort study a population is identified and it is followed over time. So we have a defined population and which is also called defined cohort and then population is followed over a period of time and it is exposed to certain factors. So based on the cohort study which we know the small participants means few numbers of people will develop the disease and few will not develop the disease. Now those who have developed the disease can be treated as case and those who have not developed the diseases from that we can select the control. So once we do that so we can create a nest so a case control study can be carried within the cohort. But actually such cohort based uh, case control study can be divided into two types. The first is nested case control study which we are talking and the second one is case cohort study. So let's take these two type of study one by one. The first one is nested case control study. In nested case control study the controls are taken from the sample who have not developed the disease but are at risk. So in nested case control study, we do a follow up for a certain period of time. So in this example, uh, the cohort is basically observed over a period of five years. Now, let's see what happens after one year. After one year of follow up, we have one person who developed the disease. Hence, we have marked that case one. Now, since we have one case, so we need to have one control from the sample who have not developed the disease which is marked as control 1. In a similar fashion after two years of follow up we have the second person who developed the disease hence we have marked that as case 2. Similarly now since we have the second case hence we need to have the second control from the sample who have not developed the disease so that is marked as control 2 and shown by dotted red lines. After three years of follow up, we have the third person who developed the disease, hence it is marked as case third. Similarly, since we have the third case now, hence we need to have the third control from the sample who have not developed the disease, which is marked as control three. After four years of follow up, we have the fourth person who developed the disease, hence it is marked as case four. Similarly, since we have the fourth case now, so we need to have the fourth control from the sample who have not developed the disease. In similar fashion, after five years, we have the fifth person who developed the disease, hence it is marked as case five. Hence, since we have the fifth case, hence we need to have the fifth control from the sample who have not developed the disease and it is marked as control five. In this way, cases and controls are in effect matched on calendar time and length of follow-up. So that was basically a case nested case control stu study. The second study which is called as case cohort study in this hypothetical example which we have taken here 
the development of cases is is in similar fashion as seen in nested case control which is after one year two year three year four five years but you if you see the controls the controls are not matched on 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 the on the period of follow-up controls are randomly chosen from the defined cohort means cases and controls are not matched on calendar time and length of follow-up which which was done in case nested case control study so if we do this type of study the advantage is that because controls are not individually matched to each case it is possible to study different cases different sets of cases in the same case cohort study using the same cohort for controls means we have we can have more than more types of diseases there so we can have different types of case control study within the cohort within the cohort which we are doing the follow up so i hope it is clear tested case control study and case cohort study now what are the advantages of you know embedding a case control study in a defined cohort first is recall bias problem is eliminated now if you remember uh, the baseline informations we were carrying when we were we were following the a uh, defined cohort the data which has been collected is much before any disease has developed hence the possibility of recall bias which is there in case control study is eliminated now the second if abnormalities in the biological characteristics such as laboratory values are found since the specimens are obtained year before the development of clinical disease it is more likely that this finding represent risk factors rather than manifestations of early diseases but when such abnormalities are found in traditional case control study we do not know whether uh, the manifestations have preceded the disease or it is as a result of the disease third such a study is more often you know is often more economical to conduct so somebody may ask why to do nested case control study why not perform a regular prospective cohort study the answer is that you know in a cohort study uh say of uh, 20000 people laboratory analysis or any thing which you are for doing a follow up you need to have to, you need to carry out for the entire group and uh, that is costly and finally since both the nested case control study and case cohort study are, uh, are derived from the same original cohort because we have a one uh, well defined cohort so there is possibility of greater comparability between the cases and control than what we see in the traditional case control study for all these reasons uh, cohort based case control study is of value and it is done so i hope this nested case control study or a case control study within a cohort was easy easy to understand and comprehend thank you very much so you can if you have any queries you can revert back on this number this is my whatsapp number and you can you can write a you can drop a email to me so i'll be happy to answer the questions thank you very much have a nice day